if I don't understand the property market, but I put more money down there, right? Am I exposing my money to more risk? So the better question that I think that this person would have asked would be more of... Welcome to the start of uh, the next episode of uh, Ask Min An How to Audio Experience. Um, so today, decided to get one uh, mic down here because I just want to ensure better quality for all the listeners there. And if you happen to be watching this uh, via the video um, which I could be posting on Facebook you'll be seeing exactly what's happening behind the scenes so today I just wanted to test out this new arrangement of uh, doing a, a, a podcast session and um, this question is really uh, as what the title I hope I would give a good title to this question uh, but it's a question that one of the uh, investment community members have asked so the question goes like this I'm just going to read it out uh, if I were in his position, would I uh, spend on investing more or saving more? The, the background that this person gave was uh, he's 27 years old, uh, a male, and uh, after CPF, which is uh, a saving scheme uh, in, Sing- uh, in Singapore, uh, with the current condition for each month's salary, 40% saving, uh, 10% saving, you know, 40% saving, 10% investment, 10% for parents, 35% for expenses. The current situation, insurance has been covered, uh, 12 months emergency fund, investment, no girlfriend yet, and have a budget taught. Okay. Reading houses, Okay, I'm not really sure what's your writing. Uh, in the next five years, if a guru was in his position, would he spend on investing more or saving more or throw all the money into investment? Uh, feel free to put my opinion and comments below. Uh, there's no right, no wrong. Uh, much appreciated it. There isn't really a high or or a answer that is right or wrong right but if i were in his position uh i just want to ask first thing i want to find out is for each month's salary right he's putting 40 percent into uh, savings 10 percent into investment 10 percent for parents 35 percent for ex- uh, expenses first thing is he even comfortable with uh this kind of allocation because uh different people will need different things right the thing is that there isn't really an absolute amount so it could be like you know if 40 percent of ten thousand you know it's kind of a huge amount right so if first thing to give this un give this person a better context uh of course maybe you just want to write how much is the is the absolute amount but it is good to know that uh, insurance has been covered even though there are many types of different insurance available. So for myself, I've made sure that I've covered my health for myself, uh, both my parents. Then uh, there's this thing called the recent, because if you're watching this video based on uh, 5th March 2021, uh, the, uh, the Singapore government has uh, required us to you know take up this disability income insurance. So if you have not, depending on when you're watching this particular video or tuning into this podcast, uh, yes, disability insurance uh, is something that I'm looking at because you just want to make sure that I'm covered for that. Uh, should any disability arise, right? So health, there is the disability. Uh, of course, uh, there is the, I do have a life insurance that forms the base of my insurance. And... There is the next one, which is the term, which covers uh, my liabilities if uh, as I start to age, right? So that uh, it is good to know that uh, this guy is covered. And what I've mentioned just now is basically what the type of insurance that I cover myself. 12 months emergency fund. Yes, I think that's kind of good, right? Uh, be prepared. Uh, for myself, I think I'm going to cover up to... 
let's say, I think I'm covered up to four years. No, three years, right? So, emergency funds, uh, it really de- it really determines that. Uh, it really depends on what, what you consider as emergency fund. Then, but the key thing is that the third question is investment. Invest more or save more. I think it's better to ask if I were to invest more. Am I investing in a instrument that I am aware? Because if we can put more into investing, but if, for example, if I don't understand the property market, but I put more money down there, right? Am I exposing my money to more risk? So the better question that I think that this person would have asked would be more of, would I spend more on investing in something that I know, right? If you are able to invest in something that you know and falls within your circle of competence, uh, because I practice value investing myself, I believe my answer will be go and invest more. Uh, so this is uh, my own take on how I would address this person if I had a chance uh, to meet this person face to face. If you are tuning in this through the podcast, um, please leave me a comment. Right. Uh, be, if you are able to leave me a comment, if you are watching this over the video, uh, do leave me a comment too by writing in the video comments. So uh, today's fifth March two zero two one. Uh, it's f- almost five thirty p.m. Almost time for dinner. Uh, thank you for listening to this podcast. And if you are watching the video, it is behind the scenes. That stay tuned to the next video. Uh, if you are investing into REITs. Or perhaps you're looking for a framework of how you would do fund allocation. In the video, uh, hit the. I should put a link up here, right somewhere up there. Uh, it's a card for you to tap and head over to the next video to that appropriate video, so you can understand how I do my fund allocation. So-